Some days ago, I made a post on how a dealership is willing to pay $39,000 for my Tesla Model 3 when I actually bought it for $37,000. Brand new. Not to mention my Tesla Model 3 already has close to 30,000 miles in it. So why in the world would a dealership want to pay an excess of $2,000 to buy a used car from me. And more importantly, I currently use this car on two roads. So now I have a dilemma of should I sell the car and lock in a good profit or keep it in the platform and continue making money? So I decided to make a video on how I compare the options of actually selling the car and booking some profits to actually keeping it on two roads and working the vehicle. So stay tuned because this video is gonna get very interesting, especially if you're in a similar situation. If you bought a car, let's say two years ago or one year ago, and now you're finding yourself being able to make money by selling that same car you bought and used, then again, you could definitely use this video as a reference as to what could be a better option for you. Towards the end, I will be sharing my decision of whether I'm selling my fleet or I'm not selling my fleet. So be sure to stay until the end and smash that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe because only 7% of my viewers are actually subscribed. And that's kind of sad. I was very sad to see that. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk numbers. First thing is, why in the world would a dealership or a company be willing to pay $2,000 above the purchase price I got this car for? Well, as I have been saying in my previous videos and probably as you have already heard all over the news and YouTube, there is and continues to be a shortage on new cars because of circuits, because of specific components that factories just can't get a hold of. And so long story short, there really is little inventory for new cars and so there's a lot of demand for used cars used car dealerships are actually running out of used cars and they're willing to pay a premium to sellers in order to incentivize them to sell their car but for example tesla right now if i wanted to get a brand new tesla model 3 i would have to wait almost six months right now the estimated delivery date on a tesla model 3 standard base model which is just like mine would be until january 2022 so again people who are not willing to wait until january 2022 simply because they need a car because they want it now because they got to start to work suddenly are forced to buy a used car and that's where a lot of these companies are actually selling used teslas more expensive than a new one, which is just insane. Now, of course, the video is for me to explain the options and how I'm gonna be comparing this because again, I'm really deciding if, I'm really considering if I should be selling my fleet. Should I just be booking and locking in some profits and just exit out the platform and you know just put that investment into USDC and get a 12% guaranteed interest rate annually? Or should I keep those two cars working, making me more money and eventually selling them with the risk that the value of these cars could go down. And so again, it's a, it's a loop and it needs analysis. And so that's what I'm gonna be explaining with you guys. And I'm gonna have to be sharing my screen. So let's go ahead and jump into my screen real quick so you guys can see what I'm seeing. But before we actually start and jumping into numbers, I do wanna share the two options I have. So option number one is to sell. And option number two is not to sell and keep on two row. So let's go with first option number one. If I go with option number one, what's the best case scenario and what's the worst case scenario? I think this is a great way for me to identify what could be the best outcome out of all these possibilities. If I sell right now, both my Prius and my Tesla Model 3, I would be able to make roughly around $6,000 in profit or in cash flow because I only owe $33,000 to the bank and I would receive a check for 39,000, meaning I get a surplus of almost $6,000. Best case scenario really when selling is that I go ahead and sell my car, get these $6,000, put them into USDC, earn a good 12% stake, and I wait for the car market to crash and then come back with $6,000, buy another Tesla Model 3, maybe much lower, a newer one. I don't have to worry about the maintenance. And in other words, I would be able to pocket in some good profit because along the process. The worst case scenario if I do sell is that cars continue to climb up higher, which again is highly unlikely, but it's still possible, especially because we've seen something similar with the housing market. I personally know people who sold homes, all their home portfolios, like that, let's say they had home properties and everything, and towards the middle of 2020, they went ahead and sold all of their homes because they were saying that the home or housing market was going to crash and they wanted to have cash ready simply for that when all the foreclosures came, 
they could just come in and buy everything. However, that has not happened and it seems like it's not going to happen as we thought it would. Now again, similar thing could happen into the car market, right? We are expecting a car crash market. However, it could be delayed and along the way we could be making more money either renting the car or simply letting the cars appreciate even more which sounds kind of crazy but it is possible so again to reiterate the worst case scenario is i go ahead sell my car cars now are still more valuable there's more demand on turo and i could have made a lot more money just keeping my cars rented and maybe selling them towards the end of the year or maybe towards the beginning of summer next year now if i choose not to sell well, the best case scenario would be to actually keep my both of my cars booked, have enough money to pay all of my cars payments and insurance plans and keep saving. And ideally, the best case scenario would be to make those $6,000 I would be making in profit by the end of the year in simple bookings, which is still kind of highly unlikely because the Tesla Model 3 payment, it is around 580 plus the insurance. I am paying roughly 1300 in just car payments alone. Now, the worst case scenario, if I don't sell, really comes down to cars losing value. So right now my Tesla Model 3, I have someone who's willing to pay me $39,000 for it. However, tomorrow, or let's say four months from now, dealerships may only be willing to pay me $29,000, which again, that would kind of fall into the normal regular trend of a car depreciating, not to mention I'm already making some money with Turo. So, I mean, it's kind of still vague and it's still kind of hard to just identify what's the best solution in my case that I should be taking or what's the best decision. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into the computer and I'm going to crunch some numbers because I asked and I made a poll and apparently everybody is suggesting for me to sell the car and buy a newer one. But again, if I go ahead and sell the car, I won't be able to make or continue making money on Turo. Not to mention, I would have to wait six months to get another Tesla, which again, in six months, I could possibly make the same amount of money on Turo, keep paying the car, lowering that payment, and then hopefully by the end of the year, people or dealerships are still willing to pay maybe $35,000, I could still book a significant profit of compared to what I owe. So let's go ahead and jump into the numbers real quick. Okay, so I got right here a Turo analysis, and I have right now three cars. I had a Ford Fusion that I was possibly going to buy. However, right now we're gonna go ahead and hide this because that's relevant at the moment. I'm also gonna be hiding Form 18 here because again, I'm no longer interested in buying that Ford Fusion. So let's go ahead and start with this specific option. Let's go ahead and say that my daily rental value for the Prius right now is $26, which is true. And on average, I'm actually gonna be renting this car for around 25 days a month because this car actually rents fairly well. Now, right now, I'm in the 80% plan on Turo. However, the car's worth last time I checked or I got it appraised at Carvana, it was actually $11,000. So the amount of money I owe on this car is actually close to $3,500. So we're gonna put right here that I have a good amount of $7,500 worth of equity in the car. Now in terms for the Tesla, on average, I'm putting it at $75 because we have been seeing a lot of decrease in activity. Maybe it's a lot of competition or just in general, not that much tourism. And I'm gonna be putting it as 20 day rentals because normally for Teslas, they're not renting it for weeks, they're only renting it for one or two days, at least in my case. Currently, I got an offer for $39,500 and I only owe $33,450, meaning I would get a good equity of $6,050. Now the costs involved of paying the Tesla is 585, along with the Prius, I'm paying $300 a month. Because again, I wanna pay it down quick, so with then 13 maybe so maybe around six more months i'll be done paying the prius and it will all be equity a new vehicle i got personally for my family because again the way i think my purpose for turo is just to be able to sustain all of my vehicles for free i don't want any profit as long as i don't have a vehicle expense for me or my wife so i did get a new vehicle and that vehicle was 514 dollars and so we're gonna put right here insurance, which is truly what I'm paying for all three vehicles, 285 per month. I'm putting a maintenance fund of 10%. In conclusion, I would be getting on Turo $2,100 per month on top, uh, you know, remove Turo fees. I would be getting around $1,700 every month from Turo. Total expenses, so in other words, total payments I'm actually doing is 1,684 minus the 172 monthly maintenance fund that I like to keep gives me a loss of 134 dollars 
However, I do get a credit at work for 250s that I could use my car. So they pay for some fuel and, you know, kind of like an assistance for my insurance. With that work rebate, I would actually be positive 114, allowing me to pay for all my vehicles, my Tesla, my Prius and all insurances. And I would still be able to save $114 that I could put somewhere else. And I'm saving $172 for any maintenance along the way that I need to change tires, brakes, et cetera, so on and so forth. So I guess looking at it that way, if I consider my work rebate of 250, I would be able to save $1,300, not to mention I would have full equity on the Prius, which would be roughly $6,000. Let's assume that the market just goes crazy and they just go ahead and say, you know what? We're not gonna offer you $11,000 for the Prius anymore. We're only gonna offer you 6,000. Let's go ahead and say that the Tesla Model 3 also, they're not gonna offer me 39,000. They're only gonna offer me maybe uh, 32,000. I mean, I still think it's much more valuable if I just keep renting it on Turo because it's allowing me to save on that car payment that I personally use. So again, $514 plus insurance, that's almost $700 that I'm paying for personal vehicles that currently Turo is paying for. So the moment I sell my Tesla and my Prius, I'm no longer gonna have this source of revenue. And yes, I might get $6,000 from the Tesla and maybe another $8,000 from the Prius. But in theory, if we go ahead and add 8,000 plus 6,000, and that's 14,000, and we divide this by the $700 that I'm gonna be paying per month for my monthly vehicles, I'm only gonna be able to subsidize my car payments for 20 years until that cash is completely gone. At that time, I won't have any cars and I won't have any cash, pretty much because right now the way it's set up is that the Tesla and the Prius work hard to pay for my vehicles. But on top of that, any earnings that I get from work or my side hustles, I still set that other cash on the side, which again, it's like, it's good, but I guess in my case, I just don't think it's very worth selling the car, even though it's a very attractive offer. But well, guys, I think that's pretty much how I think. In summary, I'm not going to be selling my Tesla or my Prius. I'm gonna keep them on tour roll, and I might reconsider the options of selling somewhere towards the end of this year. So again, what do you guys think? Are you in a similar situation? What would you do? Would you actually sell and take the profits and just kind of go and spend them on a new car? A lot of people were saying sell the car and buy a new car and just wait the six months, which again, that sounds very tempting. But at the moment, I'm just gonna keep my two cars and that's how we're gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep doing videos on Turo and my experience on Turo. And I hope you guys were able to learn something new on this video. So if you did, please smash that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching towards the end and all the video, honestly. If you have any questions, feel free to follow me on Instagram and message me on Instagram. I try to answer as fast as I can. I recently have been a little bit busy. However, I'll definitely try to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Again, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe. Peace.